Bonjour tout le monde. Hello everyone. Thank you, uh, James, John, Masai, uh, for your words. And thanks to the Toronto Raptors, the NBA and MLSE for hosting this event. Très heureux d'être ici en compagnie des ministres Mendicino et Ian, ainsi que les députés Damoff, Bendayan, Kayabaga, Nur Mohammed et Chiang. A year ago, we held a roundtable in Rexdale with Masai and with many of you, advocates, families, friends, community members. We heard from Ken Price and the Danforth families. We heard from mothers like Shamso Elmi and Shamso Mohamud, who both, both lost their sons to gun violence. We heard from so many others. I know that Surya Ibrahim, who's here today, has heard these stories too, which is why she co-founded Mothers for Peace. We must continue to have these real, sometimes difficult, always important conversations about the work that we're doing to combat gun violence. And we recognize, first and foremost, that this is a complex challenge, because it's not just about guns. Underlying issues also include mental health, poverty, gender-based violence. Gun violence is something we must fight on many different fronts across the country. One of the most important fronts is prevention, education, and awareness. I know that's particularly important to you, Masai. You've used your voice and this organization to talk about these things, these issues, bring them forward, make them real in the community, bring young people from the communities here to learn, to be empowered, to grow confidence, to see paths forward and solutions. That's how Masai, you and the Raptors continue to show that you're a winning team, not just on the court, but throughout the community and across the country. Kids are inspired by their favorite players. The positive effects of a Scotty Barnes or a Pascal Siakam is going to, going to visit their schools, being able to see them here, is making a positive change in their lives. And we know that one of the most important things for young people to hear is that they matter. They matter to their community. They matter to their country. That as a society, as organizations, as individuals, whether it's teachers or coaches or mentors or uncles or parents, or, that we're willing to invest in them that we're willing to lean in and support them and show them that they matter. And they matter not just one day if they're successful at navigating through, but that they matter now. That the choices they make now matter not just for their own path, but for our collective path and our collective world. That's why taking a moment to recognize the incredible community leaders and advocates, the mentors, the coaches, the people who take time for our young people every single day who know that if we are going to create a better world, the most important thing we can do is make sure young people see themselves as not just able but necessary to shape that better world. And not just some young people, all young people. And that is what you do every day, Masai, and that's what the Raptors organization and the NBA uh, and so many are trying to do, to show young people how much they matter. So thank you for that. Today, we're here to give even more tools to Canadians to be able to raise awareness on the ravaging issue of gun violence. We're officially designated the first Friday of June of every year as the National Day Against Gun Violence. It'll be a day of remembrance and a time to recommit ourselves to building a Canada free of gun violence. Aujourd'hui, 
on annonce que le premier vendredi du mois de juin de chaque année sera la journée nationale contre la violence par arme à feu. Ça va être une journée pour se souvenir des victimes et une journée pour faire de la sensibilisation. Just last week, we saw yet another heartbreaking tragedy, this time in Hamilton. This has got to stop. Comme je l'ai dit plus tôt, mettre fin à la violence par arme à feu exige une approche multidimensionnelle. Premièrement, il faut qu'il y ait moins d'armes à feu dans nos communautés. C'est pour ça que notre gouvernement a interdit plus de 1500 modèles d'armes à feu de style assaut, y compris le Ruger Mini 14, qui a été utilisé à Polytechnique, et le AR-15. We also froze the national market for handguns. And we expanded background checks to keep firearms out of the wrong hands. And these are examples of what we're doing to reduce the amounts of firearms circulating in our streets. But that's just the first step. Secondly, we're doing more to address smuggling and trafficking. We just passed Bill C-21 in the House, and this bill includes increased maximum penalties for gun traffickers, as well as new firearm-related offenses and strengthened penalties. By the way, the Conservative Party voted against this bill. The Parti Conservateur a voté contre la loi C-21 sur les armes à feu. Over the past years, our government invested to enhance law enforcement's capacity to address gun and gang violence and gun-related crimes. For example, our investments allowed the Canada Border Services Agency to get additional detector dogs and more X-ray devices to increase screening volumes. In 2022 alone, our border agents kept thousands of prohibited firearms and weapons off our streets, doubling the number of interdicted firearms from one year to the next. Now, let's be honest here. Conservative politicians spend a lot of time stoking fear around violent crime, but they have consistently stood against measures to ensure less crime and fewer victims. The truth is the previous Conservative government made absolutely no effort to tackle gun violence. And to this day, Conservative politicians continue to cozy up to the gun lobby. But our government will continue to step up because this is what responsible leadership requires us to do. We can't do this alone. And that's why it's so important that for a long time, you've all been stepping up as well. I talked earlier about the positive influence community leaders like Masai and so many others in this room can have, especially on young people. Because this is so important. Every effort counts. It's not just the work that police and governments do. It's about education in our communities. It's about awareness and prevention. It's about investing money, sure, but also time and effort and presence into our young people. And it's not just sports, although basketball is incredibly powerful. It's music. It's the arts, it's social media, it's all the different ways they can find their confidence, build their strengths, their capacity and their impact on the world around them. It's about getting people the help they need. Il faut tous travailler ensemble au gouvernement et dans nos communautés. C'est pour ça qu'on collabore avec les provinces, les territoires et les municipalités pour financer des initiatives de prévention comme des projets pour aider les jeunes à risque à trouver des emplois et développer leurs passions. C'est pour ça que la santé mentale était parmi nos priorités essentielles quand on a annoncé nos investissements historiques en santé l'hiver dernier. That's why our government is here to work with you as partners, community members, advocates, families of victims, doctors, teachers, police officers. We're here to work alongside you on the National Day Against Gun Violence and every day. Because every Canadian should have the freedom to go to their supermarket, their school, or their place of worship without fear. So thank you, all of you, for everything you do to be such an essential part of this work. Let's keep going. Merci tout le monde.